Listen, today I wanna to talk about how I get clients. Someone asked me this a couple of days ago and I shared with them two things, but I'm gonna focus on one in particular here. First of all, I'm not really the go-to person for this kind of information. Everything that I've learned in regards to forming business partnerships, how to present yourself online, how to reach out to people in a way that piques their interest and has them wanting to actually respond to you, I learned from David Connolly. Go check out his YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to it in the video description. These two videos of David's in particular, you'll want to watch how to become a high paid web developer. David, he goes deep. He has a real gift when it comes to sharing information that sticks in your mind. I remember things that David has said as far back as four years ago. So go check the dude out you won't regret it. So how do I get clients? Well, I just stumbled upon a new way, actually as recently as two weeks ago. I met with a client for the first time. I sat down with them in Manchester. This week we had coffee, they hired me for their project. But how did I know them and like, how did I meet them? How did they get to find out about me? Well, I don't go to enough meetups and tech conferences. I realized I really need to do something about that. So I went to meetup.com, found some meetups in my area, joined one in particular. They had a Google group, I joined that. I thought it was just a forum for techies, but noticed companies were posting questions in there wanting help. I replied to one of them via email. I didn't get anything back. Then a couple of weeks later, another company was asking questions and I'd just sat down to make a YouTube video and I thought to myself, I'm gonna make them a video. So I pulled up their website. I liked the design. I'm thinking to myself, you know, what can I bring to the table? Because they hadn't said anything specifically about what the project was. They were just looking for a couple of hours of freelance work. It was a WordPress website but I sent them a video about the performance of their website. Why not? I'm wanting to help them. I thought they need to know this stuff. So I pulled up their website on this online tool. You may have heard of it, webpagetest.org, and it will tell you how the website is performing. And if it's not performing well, it will, it will throw up these red flags. I'm not gonna get into the specifics of the tool, but I'm gonna show you the video that I sent them. Everything's kept confidential, so um, you won't know who they are, but you'll see what I said in the video to them. So the client responded to me, there was a little bit of back and forth. And when I actually delved deeper into their situation, it turned out there was a lot more work that they needed doing than met the eye. If you looked at the, the first, uh, what they posted on the forum. So we met up. I would later learn that the video I sent them was one of three replies that they'd gotten. They said one person just sent us an email saying this is how much I cost. Another person told them they need to go totally custom. You see, they were looking to build their own online training course and there's many solutions out there for that. There's WordPress plugins like LearnDash, there's white label solutions like Thinkific and Teachable. So there's no need for them to reinvent the wheel. And they said what they liked about how I reached out to them was I was offering up solutions, they could see me. When someone can see and hear you, you can learn a lot about someone by how they present themselves, how they formulate their ideas ideas and put that across in terms of their communication. So it can tell you a lot about somebody. So that's why they, they were interested in meeting up with me. And, and moreover, you see the overarching theme I wanna get across, and you'll learn more about this if you go check out David Connolly's videos, is I approach the meeting as a business partner. I don't approach the project as a worker. What's the difference? Well. A worker is just an order taker. The worker shows up and says, what do you want doing? Give me a list, I'll go away and do it. A partner on the other hand, looks at the list and will scrutinize the list and go into strategy and suggest things like, have you really thought this through? Have you thought about doing it this way? 
this could be a better approach, you're strategizing with them, even if it means that you end up referring them elsewhere because you recognize you're not actually the right developer that they need for this project. I remember I was in a dispute with a client, things were getting a little bit heated and I said, look, I'm your business partner. And this led to them flying me out to the, to the other side of the UK. They paid for my flight, paid for my hotel room. And it's not really a big deal though. There's so many people out there, they have more money than they know what to do with. It's not really a big deal for them to fly you out and just put it on the company credit card. And so this is the other world that's out there. Some of you may know about it. You'll learn more if you check out David's videos. He speaks about it in those videos that I pointed out. There's this other world and there's a lot of money exchanging hands constantly every single day. There's big web development deals happening every single day all over the world. I wanna get into more of the technical aspects and to the actual job that we're gonna do on this project with this client. It turns out that they actually needed a lot more doing and you'll find this when you actually sit down, you actually dig into it. There's actually more work there and beyond that, who knows who they can put you in touch with. Uh, 80, 90% of our work comes via referrals. So um, yeah, so what do they actually need doing? So this takes us into WordPress. They've decided on a plugin, and when it comes to WordPress plugins, uh, nearly all plugins, they're, they're optimized to run optimally, optimally on the latest version of WordPress. So whatever WordPress theme you use, that theme, it needs to be actively updated. And that is more true now than it's ever been. Things are moving so quickly that if you're not on a well-supported theme, there's a very, very strong chance you're gonna run into issues, if not now, further down the line. The vast majority of the problems that people come to us with when it comes to WordPress is that they had no idea that they needed to keep plugins and the theme and WordPress up to date. And it's okay saying that you can set it on auto update, but auto update can break things. You shouldn't be updating things on the live site. You should pull it into a local testing environment or at least a staging environment before you start updating plugins and themes. So the theme that they're using, it's not been updated in over a year. We said, look, it doesn't mean that this plugin that you want to use can't work. It just means that you may run into issues further down the line and things are moving quickly. So they opted to be updated to a better, well-supported theme. We use Divi. I've, Divi is made by a company um, called elegantthemes.com. I'll leave my link in the video description, my vi affiliate link down there. I've used Divi personally for five years. I've been using Elegant Themes uh, for almost seven years now. So Divi is a theme that you can rely on. You can take my word for it. It's obviously actively updated. Elegant Themes, they're a multi-million dollar company. Whenever there's a security issue, they'll release a patch typically within 24 hours. They have a, a great support forum. You post a question, they have dedicated Divi developers who will answer your question for you typically within 24 hours. Uh, so it's great for that when you're getting started and you don't know how to customize things for your clients. So there's that. This led to a discussion about maintenance. So we're most likely, they're most likely gonna hire us for ongoing WordPress maintenance. So there's that. We're migrating them to Cloudways. So there's, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. They're looking to move into e-commerce. So there's gonna be help needed in terms of payment gateways and Stripe and PayPal, which they have no experience with. So this is gonna lead to an ongoing 
partnership and so and hey it came about because I just followed the thread of my life I knew I needed to get to a meetup I took the first step go to meetup.com and that's pretty much what you got to do is just take the step that's in front of you imagine if you got into your into your car you put into the GPS the destination and it gives you all of the steps involved and you have to memorize it all it there all at once what am I driving at? You don't want to know all the steps involved. You don't want to know everything, every single step, every single person you're going to meet in order to arrive at the destination. You don't want to, you won't be able to retain all of that knowledge. Like the GPS, you want it to come to you turn by turn. Make a left. Go straight ahead, 200 yards make a right. That's how you want it to come. If I go back four years, if I had all of the responsibilities that I have today, then four years ago, when I was struggling to get clients, I wouldn't be able to process everything that I'm processing now on a daily basis. I wouldn't be able to handle it. I'd have made a mess of, I'd, I'd have made a mess of it. So what I had to do was I had to take the step that was in front of me that would eventually lead to where I am today. Anyway, we'll get into some of these other things in future videos. I'll leave it there. Hope you got something from this one and I'll catch you later. Peace. I thought I'd shoot you a video. I was just about to make a video for YouTube and I saw your email and I thought, why not just shoot you this quick quick video. So I went to check out your website and I'm very impressed. It's very elegant. I'm thinking to myself, what can I bring to the table? So I thought I'd do a performance test on your site. And But straight away, I noticed that you're getting a not secure warning in Google Chrome. So we're pushing now towards making the web more secure. And it needn't be like this. We can fix this. It's free to fix. So there's no reason why you shouldn't have the green padlock. You will have seen that if you've done internet banking. Here's an example of it here. And it gives you the secure uh, badge on there. So anyway, I did a performance test on your site. And here are the results. And to be fair, the results aren't great. It, you could be doing a lot better. Uh, we're told now that the average person has the attention span of a goldfish and they don't want to wait for a web page to load and it's kind of frustrating but apparently that's just where we are right now in this fast-paced world um so you, you're getting a lot of red flags for performance it should look there's no reason why it shouldn't look more like this. Now, this is our agency, our web agency's website. We're actually rebranding, so this is in development, this particular site, but it's running WordPress and we're getting all A's on here. The only thing we're not optimizing for is a content delivery network. I've just not switched that on. You can get that for a dollar a month per 25 gigabytes. And what that means is your site's gonna be fast no matter where the person is accessing it in the world. So our files and images are all loading at the same time. Yours are loading one after the other. If you see this, we call this the waterfall. So um, if you want to hire me, hire me for a couple of hours work, I'd be more than happy to help you out here. I can migrate you over to Cloudways. It's a much better deal than the host that you're on now. I noticed you're on 123 Reg. Uh, it's uh, cheaper and uh, you get more RAM, um, you get free SSL, which is that green padlock and the content delivery network. Uh, it's managed, so if you get stuck, you can contact somebody 24-7. Um, there's, there's more, it's got advanced caching, which just, again, it's another, another performance thing. So anyway, uh, just before you go, so yeah, so you're wanting to sell courses. I looked into the options that you're looking at and the one that I would gravitate towards is the WooCommerce Sensei, I believe. And my hunch is that because it's a WooCommerce ex extension, so to speak, that when you want to integrate your payment gateways, 
it might just mesh a little bit better because it's on WooCommerce. Obviously WooCommerce, it's an e-commerce plugin, so they specialize in payment gateways. And so there's a lot of solutions there for you, but that's just without me really looking into things. So anyhow, I'll leave it there. If you think that we'd be a good fit, I would love to have a chat with you, have a coffee. Anyhow, I'll leave it there and enjoy the rest of the enjoy the rest of your day and thanks for watching my video ciao